To direct the gases from the engine away from the car, the exhaust system comprises of multiple components that cooperate. To find out how hot a muffler and exhaust pipe get, you need to examine every part of the system. In this short video, we examine the different components of the exhaust system and measure their respective temperatures to help you better understand. We also look at the variables influencing exhaust temperatures. How hot does a car exhaust system get? Depending on the component you are examining, the exhaust system's temperature can vary from 300 to 1,600 degrees Fahrenheit. Nonetheless, the temperatures of the various exhaust components are listed in more detail below. Muffler. The exhaust system is still fairly hot, even though the muffler is close to the end. The majority of mufflers can withstand temperatures ranging from 300 to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. The hotter the gases, the higher your engine's RPMs will be. Due to these extreme temperatures, you must exercise caution when replacing or repairing a muffler. Oxygen sensors. The exhaust system is equipped with oxygen sensors. The temperature can vary significantly depending on where you are looking. The first oxygen sensor will experience the most intense heat as it exits the engine, but it's also difficult for the sensors that come after the catalytic converter, particularly if it's overheated. Exhaust manifold. The gases reach their peak temperature as they exit the engine. Here, Particularly if you are pushing the car hard, the gases could easily reach 1 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. The gases will be hotter as you approach the cylinder heads. They begin to cool down a little as they get farther away from the engine. Catalytic converter. The catalytic converter has a higher temperature reading because a chemical reaction is occurring there. The majority of catalytic converters should reach temperatures of about 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature may, however, increase noticeably if the converter overheats or if unburned gases pass through. Overheated converters can become bright red and reach temperatures of over 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's talk about factors affecting heat from the exhaust system. Condition. The expected temperatures vary greatly depending on the state of the exhaust system and engine. Temperatures will increase if there are any constrictions in the exhaust system. Furthermore, the hotter the gases get, the harder the engine must work to generate power. The gases may surpass typical operating temperatures if the engine is overheating for any reason. Pipe length and design. Each exhaust system has a unique pipe diameter and design. The exhaust temperature is influenced by the pipe's length and width. Heat is lost in proportion to the distance that exhaust gases must travel. Higher pipe temperatures will result from the gases emerging hotter if they have a short distance to travel. Engine speed. The combustion of the engine produces the gases. More gases are passing through the pipes as a result of the engine having to work harder when the car moves faster. When the engine is running at 800 RPMs, as opposed to 1800 RPMs, you will notice a significant difference in the temperatures of the gases. The pipes won't get nearly as hot when you are just idling the engine as they do when you are driving your car. Hope the information is helpful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.